There are five types of bundles you can create with the Bundles app. First, there are group bundles. These are your standard bundles that appear underneath a product where you click one button and add multiple products to a cart, usually for a discount. Then there are combo products. This is where you actually add one product to the cart, but it adds multiple products. Then there's buy get bundles. These are buy one, get one, buy two, get one 50% off, buy two, get one free, etc. Um, some form of buy get. There are mix and match. Example of this is buy any scarf and any shirt and get 20% off. So buy anything from one collection and anything from another and save a set amount. And yeah, lastly, frequently bought together. And this is the classic example of what Amazon does. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The first one I wanna show you how to create is what we call group bundles. Group bundles are where a customer buys a set of products, usually for some type of a discount, and they can add to the cart with just one click. This is what it would look like on the front end of a store. I want a product here, I'm looking at this jersey, I can buy just the jersey, or I can go down here and I can add the bundle to the cart with just one click. If I like this, it will add all three products to the cart for a savings of 25%. Let me show you how to set that up in the back end. Okay, so I'm in the Bold Bundles app here, and I just clicked on the main bundles tab, and this gives me a library of all the bundles I have running in my store. I can see how many times it's been viewed, added to cart. This is a demo store, so there aren't any sales, but if you did, then you would actually see the sales there as well too. So this was the bundle that I was just looking at, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, recreate it so you can see how that's done. It's really super simple. When you're creating a bundle, first you just pick what type of offer, and this is a group bundle, so I wanna click group, and I'm gonna pick the products that I wanna be in the bundle. It's really that simple. Uh, for this specific one, I wanted this Jets hat, jersey, and scarf, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick all three products. I'm gonna save the selection. I am going to set a discount of 25% if they buy it as part of a bundle, and I'm gonna give my widget a title, bundle and save. And just a tip here, uh, sometimes we find that if you go to title, making the customers feel that you really picked them out for them, uh, we recommend this package. You can name it whatever you want. And th this just makes it feel like it's a, it's a tailored bundle just for them. And then do you wanna show the percent saved on the button? Click yes or no, I always recommend doing that. And then give it an internal name. Uh, so you might wanna just call this your Jets group 25%. This is just for you to be able to find in your library. Save the bundle and now that'll be uh, syncing down at the bottom here and once that's live that'll be on the store. It's that simple. Okay so let's go ahead and look at the next type of bundle. That's group bundles. The next one I wanted to show you is a combo product bundle. These are really cool. This is what it looks like on the front end of your store. You'll be shopping a product. It feels like one product but it's actually a bundle. Uh, this product here has three different items in it. It's on one product page. You'll notice it's just one page. I pick my options. I have a six month old and for the pants, six month as well. When I go ahead and add this to the cart, it's gonna add all three products. So it was one product, but it actually added a bundle to the cart and you can see it just applied the bundle discount. These were $9.99. Okay, so that's a combo product and let me show you how to set that up. It's really easy as well. Let's jump back over to the Bold Bundles app and I'm gonna click on Create New Bundle. I'm gonna pick Group again, because it is a group bundle, it's just displayed as one product rather than a group widget on, on a normal product page. So let's pick the products I wanna be in this group. Uh, I think this one was gonna be the NFL Vikings uh, bodysuit gray, purple, and the pants. And these are just normal products that are available in your store, just like normal. But what the app is gonna actually do is create a combo product. So I have, I can set my discount here, 25%. And the, the key that I wanna do here is generate a new product. So this is gonna create a new product. I can call it my Vikings baby bundle. And then I'm gonna give it a widget. Actually, I don't even need to worry about a widget title because it's not gonna show a widget. It's gonna actually create a new product. Um, and that's it. I would probably just wanna give this a name down here like Combo Vikings Baby. And that will create that Vikings Baby bundle that you just saw that created that. Okay, and then the uh, third type of bundle is what we call a Buy Get Bundle. These are really cool. Uh, there's a lot of different variations to it. But basically, a buy-get bundle is where there's an offer 
to, well, in this scenario, if I buy two of these Giants jerseys, I'm gonna get one free hat. And it's just one click, I add it, and all the magic is done automatically in the cart at checkout. And it can be a variety of things. It can be buy one, get one, buy two, get two. Uh, so you notice I, I clicked once, it adds to the cart, and there's my free hat in the cart. It does it all automatically. Okay, let me show you how this is set up. Back over in our bundles app, we're going to click create new again. This time we're going to uh, select buy get. Uh, you just need to make sure you have the enhanced bundles mode turned on. If you don't just head under settings under general and you can make sure that that's on. This is an enhanced feature that uses the bold price rules engine. Uh, no other app actually bundling up can do this exact thing uh, without a ton of liquid modification and duplicating variants, which our app doesn't do. Uh, so what we're going to do is we choose the products that they uh, need to buy. So what do they need to buy to trigger the offer? In this scenario, I wanted to have them buy my Giants jersey. And then I can say, how many do they have to buy? One, two, three, whatever. Let's set this as three. I can make it multiple products. They have to buy a, a Giants jersey. And let's just say this Hurley hat. And when they do that, this is what they're going to get. And we're going to pick the Giants hat. And then what do I want them to get it for? Do I want them to get one hat? Do I want them to get two hats? Do I want them to get it 100% off? Do I want them to get it at, um, let's say, 50% off? Do I want multiple products? I can do they get two hats and they're both 50% off. Uh, you know, the sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want. Again, you're going to give it a title. You can kind of see down here how this is starting to look. And this is going to be buy to get to. And do you want to show the bundle price in the bundle widget? Do you want to give it a flag? Like uh, that flag kind of shows up in the corner. Uh, a lot of different ways you can style this. And then, of course, give it an internal name and you're done. That's how you do the buy get. The next bundle I want to show you is the mix and match. Uh, this is a really powerful bundle as well. And this is where you buy anything from one collection and another thing from another collection and get 15% off whatever you're buying. Here's what that looks like. I have one set up here in our demo store to be if you buy any jersey and any scarf, you get 25% off. So the thing with this is the customer has to manually add them themselves. There isn't one button that'll add it because the customer gets the choice. So it will show me the options that can be any jerseys or scarves, but it won't, there's no button to add because again, the customer has to choose it. So let's go ahead and add this jersey. I'm adding to the cart. You can see that it's 209. That's the normal price. But if I add a scarf and let's go back to the jersey page, it's kind of neat. It shows that, oh, I've, I've checked. I've already added a jersey, so that part's done. I just need to add a scarf to unlock my 25%. So let's add this scarf. And now once the scarf is in the cart and the jersey is in the cart, you notice the price is automatically adjusted and now they're saving the 25%. And the last type of bundle I want to show is what I call frequently bought together. This is exactly what Amazon does. This is actually when you don't offer a discount. It's just recommended products. And there's a lot of value in that. Uh, people think that you have to offer a discount on a bundle for customers to want it. Value can be the curation that you are, the bundle that you're creating. You know, if I was shopping for this product and on the page it said, oh, you might also want these. Well, that saved me a ton of time of looking for them. So bundles aren't just about a discounted price. And this is what that would look like on the front end of a store. I've got this hoodie underneath. I can add the bundle to the cart. There's no savings. I kind of nice. I can pick all my options and everything right here in the bundle. There isn't any savings, but you know what? If I'm a Tom Brady fan and I'm buying this hoodie, well, this is pretty convenient to have this right here. And we see a lot of our merchants doing this. This is another example. Um, again, I like how they put the widget above the description text. You can do that on your theme as well too, but they're not offering a discount. They're just making it convenient, which saves time, which is value. And to create that, let me show you how to do that. It's super simple. It's the same way you would create a group bundle. Uh, the only difference is you are going to give a zero discount. You pick your products and then just make sure you uh, give a zero discount. Really, that's it. So I won't go through the whole thing again. That's it. Those are the basics of creating bundles. 
Very easy to use. If you have questions, we're here to help. Support at boldcommerce.com or you can hit up our support forum. Uh, the only other thing really in the app is some basic uh, display settings. You can change the default text on some stuff. You can style it, um, choose where you want it to show your bundles, your plus sign, etc. And you're up and running with bundles today. Thanks for watching.